Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be something a little bit different. I have decided, after seeing a few of these on YouTube, to do the 20 random facts about me challenge. This was a challenge. I don't particularly find myself all that interesting, so to find 20 things about me was um, harder than it sounds. But I managed. I managed to get 20. So here goes nothing. So random fact number one. I am allergic to kiwi fruit. Yeah, it just makes my tongue all sort of itchy and sore and my throat gets all swollen and it's not fun. Avoid kiwi. Random fact number two. I have a strange phobia of sweet corn. This is something that a few people do know about, but I can't even get my head around it myself. I love corn in the cob. If you give me a corn in the cob, I will eat it till there is no tomorrow. But loose sweet corn on a plate just gives me the heebies and I, I don't like it. Between kiwi and sweet corn, I'm kind of ruined for kiosk pastas and things. If you go into like Tesco's or Asda or something and they've got those pre-packed pastas, all of them have kiwi. No, that's wrong. All of them have sweet corn in them and all of the fruit salads have kiwi. It's not convenient. Random fact number three. I get a very strange sense of satisfaction when I manage to change lanes on the motorway without hitting a single cat's eye. With any of my four wheels, from one lane to the next, without hitting a cat's eye. I love it, it's great. It's just that little sense of achievement. Number four. Um, growing up, we had a menagerie in our house. We had so many pets. It was insane. If I count up all the pets that I've had in total, oh, we're going to have to go for it. Right, okay. 20 fish. I don't know if they count, but I'm going to count them. 20 goldfish. One actually lived for nine years. It, we got it at the gala day as part of a prize and it lived for nine years. So 20 fish. We ended up with 24 hamsters because the pet shop that we bought the initial two from lied and said that they were both boys. They had babies, they all had babies, then they all had babies. It was incest. Three cats, um, total of three dogs, one rabbit. Is that it? I feel like there's more, but I think that's it. 25 hamsters. 25, 40, no, 25, 45, 48. 52 pets. Is that right? 52 pets? We like animals. Random fact number five. When I was 17, I got hit by a car. I feel guilty for it to this day because the woman who was in the passenger seat of the car that hit me was eight months pregnant and went into early labour. Random fact number six. If I buy a pack of socks, If I buy a pack of socks from like Primark or anywhere that have colours, like solid colours on them, so I have ones where the toes are all one colour, the heels are all another colour and then the band around the top is another colour, I cannot pair them up normally. As soon as I get them home I open all the packet and I mix them all up so that every single pair is odd. I don't know why, I've just always done it. I think this is something I got from my cousin when I was really young and it just kind of stuck. Random fact number seven. My first job was in River Island. I got it when I was 16 and I was essentially a fitting room attendant person. Um, I lasted a grand total of a month on £4.75 an hour for four hours a week. Number eight. When I was in primary seven at school, so I was ooh, 10, I think that's 10. I don't know what year that is in England, but P7, 10 years old. I had bright pink hair. I'm not talking like baby pink, I'm talking fuchsia pink. It was ridiculous. It was a crazy colour and I'm sure the name of it was Pinkissimo, so if you google that you'll have a good idea of what my hair was like when I was in P7. Random fact number nine. I used to be in musical theatre productions. For a good four years I was in a local amateur dramatics club called the Apollo Players and while I was there I was in Fame, Oliver, West Side Story, Disco Inferno, what else, Gypsy, um, I even had a solo in a review that we did, 
which was terrifying. I think that's it. Random fact number 10. I suffer from insomnia. Yay! I am basically immune to every sleeping pill in the world. The only thing that I have found to work recently is Cocodamol and I wasn't even taking it for that. Please do not use Cocodamol as a sedative. It is not what it's intended for. It just happened to make me very drowsy. To get to sleep when I am going through these bouts of insomnia, if at all, I have to be in a room with complete silence, complete darkness. If I hear a ticking clock, like that one right now, I'm done. Random fact number 11. I am terrified of heights. This hasn't always been the case. I used to be fine with heights. I didn't have really an issue with them at all. I didn't even really think about them or notice them. However, when we went to Barcelona, I think, I don't even know what age I was. I think I was about 15. Um, you're always on a roof or in a cable car or up some really high tower and it just happened. That's what I can trace it back to. So yeah, I'm now terrified of heights. Random fact number 12. Christmas is my favourite time of year. I defy anyone to not like Christmas, like genuinely deep down inside dislike Christmas. People may say, oh I hate Christmas, I hate Christmas, but do you really? No one hates Christmas. Random fact 13. When I was younger, I used to sleep with my eyes open. Who says I was a creepy child? No, I used to sleep with my eyes open. It used to freak my mum out. Um, don't know why I did it. I don't do it anymore that I'm aware of. But yeah, when I was younger, I used to sleep with my eyes open. Number 14. Me and my brother, when we were about eight, used to rescue snails from my nana and papa's garden because we found out that they were killing them with salt so we rescued them took them back to our house and put them in a plastic box up the back garden full of grass and twigs and leaves and mud we thought we were helping them we probably would have been had we not put the lid on i think this is number 15. so number 15. i have an irrational phobia of buttons I've never liked them. I never will like them. I don't have any clothes with them on them unless I absolutely have to, unless it's like a work uniform or something. I don't own them. They just freak me out. I don't know what it is. They're just horrible little, oof. No, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I mean, to the point where when I was younger, my mum would send us to school with t-shirts and like buttonless v-neck things so that we didn't have to wear them strange. I think we got it from our dad. We're all weird. Number 16. I hate yellow Skittles. <laughs> if I get a bag of Skittles I will eat every single one and there will just be like tons of little yellow ones in the bottom of the pack because I hate them. Number 17. I'm semi ambidextrous. I say semi because I can't fill life me right with my left hand. However, I am right handed. I do write right handed but I eat left handed. When I was in school, I used to use a saw in techie left-handed. I can cut left-handed. There's a good few things that I would naturally do left-handed. I've discovered that I would cast a fishing rod left-handed. Um, automatically hold a guitar left-handed. Random fact number 18. I had a nickname in primary school that was dumped upon me and my best friend, Jane. Um, we were fairy one and fairy two and we were given these nicknames by our P6 teacher, Mr McGilvery, um, because apparently we were always in fairyland. We were just weren't there 100% of the time. <laughs> there in body, not in spirit or brains. So we were fairy one and fairy two and that kind of stuck with us for the rest of our lives. I mean, I still use fairy one as passwords for things. I probably shouldn't tell you that, but you don't know what they're for. This nickname also sort of... Um, prompted a rather large actually collection of fairy figurines so for a good four or five years I got fairy statues for Christmases, birthdays, my papa loved the fact that I loved fairies because he loves fairies so he used to always anytime he saw a fairy statue um, he would buy me it so I've got tons and tons of fairies just various different fairies in the loft in boxes because I don't have any space for them anymore because there's so many Number 19. I have one thigh bone that is longer than the other. I do, I do. Um, I, when I was 16, I dislocated my knee, snapped an inch off the end of my left thigh bone. 
had to get it removed so I did spend my 17th birthday in hospital under anaesthetic getting an inch of random bone removed from my knee. So now I have nothing holding my left kneecap in place and that thigh is an inch shorter than the other. And number 20, I have zero fashion sense. None at all. My boyfriend Dave has excellent fashion sense so when we go out shopping he sort of guides me to the things that I'll look good in and guides me to things that will create nice outfits and I just sort of stick to you know the old ripped jeans and slippers. I have no fashion sense at all. I'm hopeless. Hopeless. So that's me. Keep an eye out for my next video and yeah I'll be back soon.